Let's take a look at this problem. First off, I can take the t plus 3 to the third power and rewrite it as t plus 3 times t plus 3 times t plus 3. There is something called the chain rule, but this section uh, hasn't covered that yet. Because obviously this is not a good technique if that's 100 power. Okay, we're going to foil this last part. t times t is t squared. t times 3 is 3t. Three, 3 times t is 3t. Three, 3 times 3 is 9. dt. So we got t plus 3, uh, t squared. 3t times 3t is 6t, plus 9, dt. Now if I multiply these together, t times t squared is t to the third. t times 6t is 6t squared. t times 9 is 9t. 3 times t squared is 3t squared. 3 times 6t is 18t. And 3 times 9 is 27 dt. So then we're going to have t to the third. 6t squared plus 3t squared is 9t squared. 9t plus 18t is 27t plus 27 dt. So now we're ready to find our integral. This is t to a power, so we add 1 to our power, divide by our new power. So we're going to have 1 fourth t to the fourth. Adding 1 to our power, divide by our new power. Plus, t squared, add 1 to our power, divide by our new power. So we're going to have 9 divided by 3, t to the third. Plus, t to the first, add 1 to our power, divide by our new power. So we'll have 27 over 2, t squared. If you just have a number, you just add a t onto it. So that's 27t plus c. And we got 1 fourth t to the fourth plus 9 divided by 3 is 3t to the third plus 27 halves t squared plus 27t plus c. And that would be our answer.